Okay, hey guys, welcome to I Heart Art. And in this video I'll be doing I'll be doing a tutorial and a very very small haul um from Michaels. So let me let's get started on the haul. But the bracelet that you're gonna be learning how to make is the What's This Name bracelet. I really love this bracelet. By the way, I did make a video on this before, but I deleted it because it wasn't that good. So it's like single chains at the back and it's on the front. And it looks like this. If I if any of you already created this, please tell me so I can give credit to you. So let's get started with the haul. Let me push this aside. Um so the first thing that I got is this 20 pack of scribbles because I basically love scribbles scribbles fabric paint and you're gonna find out why for a video I'm gonna make tomorrow and I'm also got a tot mini tie-dye kit it's pretty cool um so this is how it looks I got it from Michaels by the way and I got two t-shirts Two t-shirts um, for my little brother and me. White t-shirts, so we're going to be having lots of fun with that soon. Um, and that's all I got. So anyway, as I told you, it was a really s small haul. So let's get started on the brace. Okay, so your loom should be set up straight. Or even if you can't make it straight, like on a crazy loom or anything, that um, then that'd be fine too. You don't have to make it straight, but I like keeping it straight. So you can use a rainbow loom, um, if you don't have a rainbow loom, I think you can make it with three fingers. So, three fingers. You can make it, but, no wait, not three, I mean, sorry, four, four fingers. But, um, anyway, so, let's start by, I like to use, go at the end of the loom, not in the front, so, we're going to be taking um, a rubber band and making it into a figure eight. Push down. Let me zoom in. And then we're going to be taking... Um, wait, actually I changed my configurations because if you, you had to pick a main color and the other color. So I want my main color to be on the back and in the front. So, and but even, yeah, so like... These rainbow colors, they're not on the back. They're like in the inside. So I don't really want that with the tie-dye colors. So I'm just going to take um, this type of blue and just make a figure eight across. And then take two rubber bands and then make one figure eight going like that. And another figure eight going like that. Push down. And then you're going to take another color rubber band. Um, yeah, I'm taking this pink. And then you're going to pl place it across two of, two of these pegs. And then, um, and then take two same rubber bands. I'm using these tie dyes. And... You're going to place it like this across. So to loop, we're just going to turn it like this. And one at a time, you have to pick two rubber bands. Because I don't want like going two at a time for this bracelet. Because then it kind of gets out of order. So one um, like over. And then uh, take the... Take the um, la um, last loop because remember you're bringing two loops over. Then take the last loop and then bring it over. Same with this side. Um, take one rubber band at the bottom, place it over. Then the next, place it over. And now we're going to take this rubber band, place it over. And a rubber band over here. Place it over, and you're going to repeat this process. I'll show you three more times. So, um, again, we're going to take a rubber band, stretch it across these two pegs, 
and take two of the same color of bands or any color order you like and oh, let me find them sorry it's taking a long time and then you're going to place them on these two pegs over here and then remember there um you're gonna bring two loops up so one loop over one loop over the next loop over so that equals two now now on the next side one loop over and the next loop over so make sure they're kind of ordered because you don't want to get your pattern mixed up so even that now on this side over here um one loop bring it over another loop it's kind of hard to get from the side but uh then then oh wait yeah then take the next loop I keep grabbing the other wind and so take the next loop and bring it over and I'll show you one more time and then and then you can do it by yourself I hope so again let's do this you're gonna be taking two rubber bands of course and then I forgot my pink band but I'll take that so I'll take a pink band and stretch it across. Push. Oh, so many shades of pink. So this pink, I'm gonna take it and then gonna take these two and place them over. And then gonna turn it around and then grab the bottom loop which should be the color and then take the no, take the next loop because remember you're taking two over I accidentally took um, more than that but two over and then push down another over again and one more place it over now you're gonna go on the sides and place it over and another the other side place it over and I'll be right back to show you okay so um, I'm finished my bracelet and I really love this I don't know if you can see it but it's like it's like really it's so cool yeah I think you can see it. it's like tie-dye it's like so cool I really love this so now what you're gonna do as you see there's two loops on each peg and one loop and one loop on these two pegs here so what you're gonna do is take this bottom loop on here and just bring it over and then take the bottom loop on this peg and bring it over and I'm gonna take one loop from this side bring it over to the peg right in front of it same with this side just take it right in front of it and then you just go in to attach attach these two loops carefully on this peg so it makes it's just in, in a more orderly way so you can just add it on and I'm going to now take a rubber band. Let me get um, a blue rubber band because I really love this blue. I think it's turquoise. Yeah, this color. And then stick it through all those rubber bands. And then pull it up. And then you can remove it because it makes a loop and make sure you have all those rubber bands on it and then carefully take it off. And then you have a loop here. So now, now you know what you're going to do. You're just going to add a C clip or S clip, but I'm adding the S clip. So adding a S clip and then 
And then like, okay, then you're going to take all these cap bands. So first stretch it out and then take all these cap bands and attach them on. So then you have your what's its name bracelet. And I'm going to wear it to see if it's my size. If not, I'm going to add another loop. And, and if it's perfectly... But I still think I'll just I'll just add a like this. Um. Anyway, off topic. I hope you enjoy this. I and I hope you enjoy this video and give it a big thumbs up, really big thumbs up, and and subscribe. Thank you for 60 plus subscribers or 50 plus, cause I really um. But please get me to 100 plus, and I'll I'll make even more videos. So anyway, here's your what's its name bracelet. Bye.